One of the things that we do, you know, being a YouTube channel, we get comments and we get uh, feedback, which we love from you guys. Um, sometimes we get a few questions. Sometimes yeah. we get you know some analysis. Darrell uh, Canaston, I believe it is. If I pronounce it wrong, I apologize. Yeah. Um, asked us a question about Starla Tulele's contract. You know how we were talking about it one episode. Uh, I briefly mentioned it, but the details of it I didn't really go into. So yeah. he wanted us to go into the details of that. So. Uh, Paul pulled it up. We talked about it. It seems like a very, very workable contract. Even though a lot of people were like, "Well, oh, 50 mil, 50 mil. You know, he, they overpaid for him and stuff like that. Yeah. When you look at the year-by-year -year detailed breakdown of it, it's not as uh, daunting as, as you thought it was initially. So, right. Paul, what are, what are some of the numbers on this guy? First off, the one thing that I heard a lot around the contract was he's 29. Yeah, you gave him a five-year deal at 29. But a 33-year-old, essentially nose tackle, the shelf life mm -hmm. on those guys are a little bit longer. Like, you look at Kyle Williams, right? Yeah, That's, now because right. of the fact that they cycle guys in, they don't play 80, 90% of the snaps anymore. Right, exactly. So you sign Starla Tule because of... Uh, the player that he is, not the age that he is, yes. right? That's that's the reality of it. So, five-year deal to a guy is going to get him to age 33. Truthfully, at his position with the rotation that they're going to work, I'm okay with that. I'm fine mm -hmm. with that. Mm -hmm. um, so, of the money, there's guaranteed money. And that's always the thing with contracts that you always have to look out for is that guaranteed money because the team is on the hook for that guaranteed money. You cannot get around it. Mm -hmm. So, there is guaranteed money in this deal. The nice thing about the contract, though, is it's only in the first two years. It's in this year, and there's a little bit of guaranteed money next year, and then that's it. So if you want to walk away from Starla Tulele after 2019, you're not paying base salary for him to not be on the team. Um, a lot of times when you see, like, rookie contracts and they cut a guy off a rookie contract, those, those salaries are all guaranteed. So you're still having to pay for him, even though he's not on the roster anymore. Mm -hmm. um, not really with Starla Tulele from a base salary standpoint. His, his guaranteed money, um, only two million of his seven point one million base salary is guaranteed next year. So okay. that's fine. Um, he's on the team through this year and next year at least. Um, his signing bonus actually wasn't that big either, considering there's a fifty million dollar deal. It's thirteen million dollars in signing bonus. You take that signing bonus and you prorate it. Yep, across over the, the cross. Over the <laughs> life of the contract, yes. right? Signing bonus is great because it's easy. You take yeah. 13 mil, you divide it by five, you get 2.6 every year. So that means that the bills have already paid him that 13 million. Yes, so it. if they were to cut him, that's the money that you hear about dead money. That's what that's that is. That's the thing that I think confuses a lot of people because <laughs> that, you know they say that um, that 13 million, he already has it in his account. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, even though it'll say 2.6 for 2019, yeah. 2.6 2020, 2 point, he's already been paid that. Right. But the bills still have to account for that in their finances when it comes to dead money. Right. If they cut them. So, right, yeah. exactly. So whenever you hear dead money, that's what it is. It's usually signing bonus. Occasionally, uh, some of that dead money is guaranteed base salary if a guy didn't perform for his contract and they just wanted to get him out of there. But again, Starla Tulele, not a concern. After next year, that guaranteed no. money is gone. Yeah. Um, so base salary um, is, is very controllable. Also, in this deal, which I always love, roster bonuses. I love roster bonuses because it's a promise of the team to say, all right, if you're on the roster March 3rd, you get $1.5 million or however much the roster bonus is. It inflates the contract a little bit, right? Yeah, because roster yeah. bonuses are seen as, you know, likely to be earned incentives. So it's included in the total number of the contract, but the bills have added $6 million in roster bonuses. So basically every year, there's a little bit of tricky math in it, but the way it works out for Star is in your head, um, basically every year at the start of the league year, he's gonna get a check for $1.5 million from the bills, just as long as he's on the team. So what it does is it gives the player money, kind of like what you saw with Tyrod Taylor, right? There's a yeah, roster bonus. I was gonna say Google yeah. him. So they have to make their decision on what they're gonna do with him early. That's what those roster bonuses are there to do. I love roster bonuses, I'm a very, very big fan of them. The reason I like them is because if you cut them, you don't have to count that money against the dead, against dead cap. Mm -hmm. If you cut him and he's got $3 million in roster bonus remaining, that money's gone. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to pay it. You don't have to account for it. Yep. He never earned it, so you don't have to pay it. 
Um, so truthfully speaking, Starlet Two Lane's contract is great all the way up until 2020, and then it gets better, right? Yep. Because at age 31, his salary cap number is 7.8. At age 32, his salary cap number is 5.2. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. That is dead cap money, excuse me. Um, in 2020, his number is 10.1, which is very good. Mm -hmm. at, 20, at age 32, his salary cap number is 10.8. And then at 33, his salary cap number is, again, 10.8. But all those years you could walk away from for really almost no money. If you wanted to cut him after 2019, it would cost you, uh, what's uh, 26 times 2? Or it's 26 times 3. You're the 26 math guy. 26 times 3? Uh, 78. Okay. It cost you $7.8 million to cut him three years into a five-year deal. Which is great, no, truthfully speaking. That's not, so, that's not bad at all. Yeah, so... The contract's great. It doesn't overcommit to a player like him because you can walk away. That was one thing, like with Marcel Darius' contract, there's a ton of guaranteed money in it, yeah. and um, it's tough to but get But it out. wasn't roster. No, it, it wasn't. Was it was guaranteed all, salary, yeah. and it's tough to get away from a deal like that. So this this contract is very smart. It's, it's written very smart. So you get the best two years up until age 30, and then once he gets over that age 30 hump, then all that guaranteed money is gone, right? And it's yep. just... He has to earn his way into the roster every year. And if he's not working out or if it's not worth it, you got two years to start and then it's over. So big fan of this contract. Big, big fan. Very, very well written contract. Yeah. Very and well it written. Was, it was one that the Bills hopefully benefit. Uh, and you know what, though? Even from a, a personnel standpoint, like what, what we said, Kyle Williams is on the team right now. You just signed Harrison Phillips. Yep. Okay. There's that gap. So you're thinking that eventually when Star, I mean Kyle will be gone, Star will get to that point where Kyle is you think you know taking the big picture here and then they draft somebody that he can learn from. Right. You know what I mean so so from a schematic standpoint I mean putting him and Kyle in the, in the middle is awesome but just from the contract trying to put your mind at ease as far as who just gave Star 50 million dollar why didn't we get yeah, that Yeah, it's really not that bad. It is worded and it, it, it is it is formatted but you know beautifully and, and you got to think was able to get done because of the relationship he has with McDermott, and he loves playing in that system. So, uh, hopefully, we answered your question and broke it down for you a little bit.